हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू डेंटल पाठशाला दिस इज डॉक्टर संगीता वेयर वी हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड लर्न डेंटिस्ट्री बेटर एंड इजी वे एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज कोगनेटिव थ्योरी बाय जीन पियाजेट नाउ दिस इज वन ऑफ द साइकोडायनामिक थ्योरीज वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड टू साइकोडायनामिक थ्योरीज सेगमेंट फ्रॉड थ्योरी ऑफ साइको सेक्शुअल थ्योरी और द साइको सोशल थ्योरी बाय एरिक एरिक्सन नाउ टुडेज टॉपिक इज द कोगनेटिव थ्योरी बाय जीन पियाजेट जीन पियाजेट डिराइव दिस थ्योरी फ्रॉम डायरेक्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन बाय डायरेक्ट ऑब्जर्विंग द चिल्ड्रन बाय क्वेश्चनिंग देयर थिंकिंग प्रोसेस एंड ही सेड दैट द एनवायरमेंट डज नॉट चेंज द चाइल्ड बिहेवियर इंस्टेड द चाइल्ड सीक टू अंडरस्टैंड द एनवायरमेंट एंड लर्न फ्रॉम द एनवायरमेंट so piaget formulated this hypothesis on how children and adults and think and they acquire their knowledge so let's get started before we get started make sure you subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon that way you get a notification as soon as i release a video lecture cognitive theory by jean piaget cognition word means the process of thinking the process of understanding so the process of adaptation is made up of three functional variants assimilation accommodation and equilibration now if a child sees observe anything new and he learns anything new is known as assimilation and if you add any change to this new this is known as accommodation now the child is accommodating a change in the new information a change in the assimilation and a equilibrium and equal balance between assimilation and accommodation is known as equilibration it is the adjustment to to fit better now i have a story to make you understand how this adaptation process works there was a kid sitting in the balcony and he saw a cow he asked his mother mama what is this with four legs a head and a tail now mother told the child that it's a cow after few days he saw a bull and he tells his mother mama mama see see this is a cow a cow is crossing now the mother quickly responded can you see big horns now it's a bull bull have horns big horns so the thinking process of the cow was assimilation because he saw something new he assimilated it and he assimilated that it's a cow now he modified this information by adding horns when he added horns this is accommodation now the bull is the process of accommodation and after few days what happens is he see a cow with the horn now he thinks that he tells his mother that it's a cow and now the mother tells that no it's a cow with horn so this new information the adjustment of the basic assumption of schema is the equilibration so this is the equilibration this which is the adjustment of the knowledge which he had previously so these strategies piaget calls them schema the concepts or the strategies is known as schema now the sequence of development is divided into four stages by according to jean piaget the sensory motor stage pre operational stage concrete operational stage and formal operations operational stage now sensory motor stage is from 0 to 2 years sensory break the break the term as i have been telling you break the term now the sensory motor means sensory means sensation and motor means any action or any movement now if an infant learns anything from the sensations we have five sensations see hear touch taste and smell now the all the sensations child respond child takes action on these sensations now when a child listens to his mom's voice and if he see anything moving like the toy moving he responds to it he laughs to it so this is the sensory motor stage and end of this stage brings the object permanence now the object permanence is let me give you an example if you hide a child toys he thinks that the toy doesn't exist and he starts crying also sometimes when the child parent uncover their face and all of a sudden the child feels happy 
Now you have seen that videos on the Facebook when the dad shaves and uh, the child is unable to recognize the dad and he starts crying, he or she starts crying all of a sudden. Now this, uh, when he is unable to recognize the new face is peak a boo. That means the child is surprised. All of a sudden he thinks that. The, my mom has come. Now he gets happy. Now this this is surprise. Surprising event is the peak abu. Now this is seen in the sensory motor stage. Now the child begins to interact with the environment in 0 to 2 years. And the child begins to environment. And if you give toys, infant is on the dental clinic. And uh, you should have the parents hold the child. And also if you give toys whilst the child is sitting at the dental chair. You should give toys in his hands while the child is sitting at the dental chair. Now coming to the pre-operational stage which is seen in 2 to 6 or some books it is written 2 to 7 years. Now we have two, we have divided the pre-operational stage into two stages the pre-conceptual stage and the intuitive stage. Now the pre-conceptual age is 2 to 4 years. Now the child begin to identify the subject or name or put into groups like uh, the child can identify that this is red color. Now the thinking process is started but the child is illogical. Like the child play games like doctor doctor or kitchen you have seen some, some small kids playing. Now they think that it's real. They think that it's the real kitchen uh, in which they are working on. So this, the child is, the thinking process has started, but it is illogical at this point of time. It's egocentric. That means everything, everything which is around them is for them. So they are, they think of themselves. So it is egocentric. Now intuitive stages from four to seven years or four to six years, when the child thinks as per his or her intuition, now they are not logical but a child start asking questions. They want reasoning for everything. They want reasoning of the objects which are around them. The child likes to expose things and make their own observations on, the, on those things. Now for example a child in the, surveys the dental chair and he checks on the airway syringe. So what you should do it you should explain things about the equipment or things about the instrument and child is allowed to deal with small instrument in the dental chair like our airway syringe child should be allowed to play with the airway syringe and the child correlates things with the other object which they are more used to so explaining a picture explaining a radiograph really helps with the child at this stage now coming to the third stage we have concrete operational stage which is from 6 to 12 years child start thinking about concrete things now which are present which are exist in front of them now the child's thinking process has become logical from this stage and the child a child is able to understand and the child is able to put the uh, others viewpoint and has the ability to use mental operations like addition or subtraction or the child has the knowledge about uh, quality or the shape of the objects now the child knows this is cylindrical uh, so the child knows about the subject so concrete instructions concrete instructions like brushing habit should be teach in this stage and also child is allowed to see the mirror and child is allowed to see what is being done in the mouth in the dental clinic and the child has achieved the level of understanding and he gets also gets involved in the treatment. So the child should be allowed to hold the suction, should be allowed to play with certain some instruments which are not harmful or which are not sharp. Now coming to the fourth stage, we have the formal operational stage which varies from 11 to 15 years. At this stage, the child starts asking questions about things which are not in front of them, which we ca he cannot see. So the thinking process is idealistic and logical at this point of time. And the peer influences and the abstract thinking also increases. This plays an important role in the orthodontic appliance, orthodontic treatment now because a child wants to look good and acceptance from the peer can be used for motivation of the dentist treatment now this is about the cognitive theory by Jean Piaget we have covered 
the three functional variant assimilation accommodation equilibration and the sequence of development into four stages sensor motor pre operational concrete operational and formal operational stage even though piaget has covered all the almost all the stages but he overestimate the age difference in thinking and he underestimates the child's ability so yeah, but it was one of the most comprehensive theory of cognitive development and this theory propagated that we can learn as much as about the children's intellectual development from examining the children from testing a child with their answers so this is about the cognitive theory by jean piaget i hope that i help you understand the psychodynamic theory and if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment below if you enjoy the video like it share it subscribe it and i'll see you soon